What's happening, fellas? The February auction is finally here. Friday, tonight, over 100 bikes are ending. There's another 50 bikes that'll be ending in the next week. We saved the best for last. I'm gonna give you a quick preview of all the bikes here. Look at the first comment. That'll be a pinned link to the actual auction. So we're gonna bring the bikes through real quick. Look at this row of bikes we got here. And um, there's a, about 150 bikes we're gonna be showing you. Just a 30 second preview. If, if there's a bike you like, click on the auction link. There'll be a full five, 10, 15 minute video on the bike if, it, if it's, uh, um, they, they vary, but there'll also be a written description and you can bid on these right then and there on eBay. And a couple of them have buy it now, so most of them are auction, being auctioned off. So we're gonna start with one of my favorites. This is one of two bikes that are on our company logo. It's a 1977 XLCR Cafe Racer. This is designed by Willie G. Davidson, the uh, grandson or the founder of Harley Davidson. This is one of my favorite all time Harley Davidsons. It's absolutely stunning. This one is in pristine. Cosmetic and mechanically, it's 100%. It's been upgraded with progressive shocks, has a beautiful paint job on it, has original factory exhaust, and um, it's just a beauty. So if you want to know more on it, then just click on the link and uh, below for the auction, and you'll be able to see a, a video of me riding this. So that was just figured we start off with the best. Guys, the next bike rolling up here is my all-time favorite Harley Davidson model FXR, and this is a very significant piece right here. This is the last year of the Harley Davidson FXR. It's also a CVO Harley Davidson in the last year of, that stands for Custom Vehicle Operations. It's also the last year for the Evolution Motor. It is an absolutely stunning mint original condition, 100% original right down to the tires. The only thing that's not original is the fantastic dual, uh, two into one exhaust on it. So you wanna hear this bad boy run? There's a full video. Uh, click on the link below. They only made 680 of those, by the way. The second Harley, da the third Harley Davidson rolling up here is another pristine, super rare Harley Davidson FXR. This is the 1990 FXRS. It has got the long travel shocks, forks, uh, has a lot of custom features like the rims have been uh, chromed and there's chrome everywhere on this thing. There's a full 10 minute video on this one. You can hear it run with a thunder header. Sounds fantastic. 6,600 original miles. Extremely rare to find them in pristine. That thing's a 10. Here's another CVO Harley Davidson FXR. This is a 1999 FXR2. This is 100% original factory paint. Very low miles on this one. Only 12,000 miles. It's mechanically and cosmetically pristine. And it's ready for a new home. This one also has a custom exhaust being the only, only deviation from stock. Full video on that one too. Now, now we've got one of the most badass choppers you've ever seen. This is an Exile chopper, should need no introduction, but check it out folks. Uh, it has the biggest front tire of any chopper we've ever had through the shop. Gold chain, 100 cubic inch motor, suspension seat. I have all the receipts, over $30,000 in receipts today. It's a $35,000 bike in a box if you buy the kit yourself. 60,000 and up, fully assembled, and there's a six month wait time. This one's ready for Daytona, folks. If you are one of the lucky buyers that win a bike here, we can arrange to have it delivered to Bike Week if you're going to Daytona. Highly recommend going if you've never been, it's incredible. This is a significant piece right here. This is part of not only motorcycle history, but music history. This was owned by a roadie from The Doors. There's a ticket on the side from the 1969 show that they, they were at. Um, custom flame paint job, runs excellent. It has a Lester Mag rear wheel, which is a really rare piece for the Harley. Um, some really cool upgrades. Got a, uh, if you want to hear it run, click on the link below. Beautiful Ironhead Sportster, one of the last of the Willie G Sportsters, 1977. Guys, this has got to be my favorite. One of my, this is on the podium of my favorite motorcycles in the museum. This one's near and dear to my heart. This is a factory Triumph TT racer, 1968 T120R. Uh, it has the 750 big bore kit that they put on them to homolog homologation rules for the 650 to be now a 750. I've got pictures of uh, uh, Gary Nixon and Gene Romero uh, battling uh, on these bikes. This is from the Gene Romero collection. It was sold 1997 at auction. And uh, it's a priceless factory race bike set up for street legal street tracking. This is another beauty right here. This came through the wheels through time auction. Uh, sadly, uh, the founder just passed away. His Matt just, the son Matt just took over. This is one of their Bennett, one of their um, curators of the museum owns this motorcycle, and uh, he's in his 70s. Decided he was going to retire and uh, still be involved with the museum, but needed some some extra funds, so it's for sale. That's a BSA Gold Star, extremely rare piece. 
Next, we, we got another bike that should need no introduction. This is a Borget Chopper, one of the highest quality, if not the highest quality chopper builder on the planet. All CNC machine wheels, controls. Um, the frame and swing arm on this is, is just, just unbelievable. Um, fantastic piece, has a pillion pad on it. This has 113 cubic inch SNS motor putting down over 105 rear wheel horsepower. This is a full suspension bike. It has the soft tail on the rear. Our original ticket price was over $50,000 for that. It's being auctioned off for a fraction of that price. Here we've got another AMF era Armaki SX250. Uh, this is a two stroke street legal uh, street bike and it has the original, everything on this bike to me looks to be original. Uh, the exhaust, engine, chrome, paint job, just a rare original survivor in outstanding condition with only 3,964 miles. This one here needs a little bit of, uh, it runs, and I have a video of it running, but it needs an engine rebuild. Next bike up here, this is one we bought from a collector who passed away, unfortunately, from his estate. This is a gorgeous Harley Davidson Armaki Sprint uh, full frame off restoration with a whole bunch of NOS parts. NOS stands for new old stock, if you weren't sure what that means. Take a look at the Speedo, one mile on it. That's how many miles it's had from a frame off restoration. New tires, new gauges, new headlight, new paint job, um, all kinds of new components, new exhaust, new, new rear tire, new chain. Just a beautiful piece. It runs great. This one is uh, ready for a new home. The speedometer and tachometer are not working on this one, but it, it, there can't be more than 15 miles on the frame off. Uh, yeah, that's true. The, the speedometer and tachometer don't have a, um, it doesn't have a speedometer cable or a tachometer cable. They do work. We just don't have the cables for it, and it is missing the switch housings. We're selling that one as is, but it runs great. This, this is the world's, at, at the time, 1983, this is the world's fastest uh, motocross bike. They clocked this at 120 miles an hour. Um, it is an absolute rocket ship. This is at a full frame off restoration with a Tom Morgan racing motor. Um, it's electron carb. electron carb, Tom Morgan balance crank, rebuilt forks, rebuilt shocks, Hoosier tires, brand new Excel rims. This is an absolute dime piece, folks. There are very, very few of these left. We go to a lot of the big bore vintage events. I've never seen another one uh, like this anyways. The thing's an absolute ripper. If you want to hear it run, Click on the link below. Guys, check this bad boy out. This is a Lambretta 150 LD two-stroke. This thing's a little ripper. And uh, what was it, the mods versus the, I forget, when they had that little war there. But anyways, the, the scooter guys would, be, uh, would have been proud to have this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, double seat, awesome looking vintage paint job on it. Plenty of, plenty of info on this one online. Check out the uh, write-up on it. Uh, this next thing here is a monster mash. It was built by the, the manic mechanic himself. Um, he wanted a, a mini bike he could take to mid-Ohio. I guess he dynoed it. It's got 14 rear wheel horsepower after uh, setting it up with a custom exhaust and uh, everything else he's done to it. Hand built, uh, tons of uh, cool stuff on it, like the nitrogen charge gas shocks, the Harley seat. RV the, the front Yeah, it's got RV125 front end, brand new tires. That's a cool piece. You won't see another one like it. That's handmade by the manic mechanic himself. Here's a classic Yamaha DT250 or MX250 with a silver and red paint job. Absolutely stunning piece. Runs awesome. Little wheelie machine, knobby tires, ready to, uh, looks like it came right out of the, at, on any Sunday movie. Uh, just a cool, cool classic vintage motocross bike. Ready for another 40 years of fun. The next bike here, this is the uh, Cobalt, the Cobalt captain there, uh, Jimmy Ellis, won the 1974 AMA National MX Championship on this same uh, model, Can-Am Can 250. In fact, uh, he won the Super Bowl of Motocross, also first rider from the New England region to win a AMA National Championship. Absolute ripper. It's Rotax, uh, Bombardier engine, case read induction. Just an absolute ripper. All restored frame up, ready for a new home. Now we've got the Kawasaki KZ 400s that we bought from a local collector in Pennsylvania. Um, we put, uh, I just read the ticket on this morning, $3,000 of restoration services on this, new tires, the car's been rebuilt, everything's been done on this, the tank's been cleaned, the engine's been tuned, um, all new bulbs, new, new uh, mirrors, uh, everything's been done. She's ready for a new, a new home. Awesome little Kawasaki, little, little, little mini Z. This next bike coming up here, you're never gonna see another one of these. This is a Ducati 250 MX racer, uh, one of two that were built for Jay Crandall, 17-time AHMRA 
AHRMA national champion. Uh, and this is an absolute stunning piece. What do you hear this thing run? It's got the Works Performance Long Travel Shocks on the back, uh, a work set of Cherry Annie front forks, uh, Acramp aluminum rims, a gold chain, and it's a Ducati 250 Desmo motor with a world-class paint job. That's a, that's a stunning piece. What do you hear that one run? Here's another one of the KZ400s from the collection. This one's a stunning blue, gold, and black classic Kawasaki KZ. This one's set up for dual purpose riding with the on and off road tires. If you're looking for something to uh, take to the beach or, or uh, a daily driver or something you can ride on and off road, this is small enough to take off road. You can ride it in the winter with these tires, they're like snow tires. That's a kick ass piece. That one runs beautiful. Next bike coming up here is probably the, the nicest cosmetically of the lineup of KZ400s. The paint job on this thing's just beautiful. It's red, gold, and black. All the aluminum on this thing's polished up beautifully. This has been given a full cosmetic preservation service, and uh, you can tell she's an absolute beauty. Um, this thing runs great. It's got uh, 3,000 miles on it, and it's in pristine condition. You're probably the nicest looking one, one of the nicest looking ones in the country. I've never seen a nicer one, except for the custom deluxe here that's the uh, last one from the 400s guys this is one of the rarest kz 400s of all time this is the kz 400 custom came from the factory with the brown paint job original paint you see on there with the brown saddle and it has the matching saddle bags the luggage rack the full fairing it's a stunning piece in absolutely pristine condition ready for a new home with only 2200 miles ride this bad boy cross country here we have another classic Kawasaki. This is an original paint survivor from the Mac collection out of Pennsylvania. Kawasaki 100 Endura. Real vintage piece with the chrome fenders. Runs excellent. It's been just tuned, detailed, and uh, has, it's pretty much 100% original cosmetically. The original seat, original paint. Uh, 1,443 miles on this classic original Kawasaki Enduro. This, this is another bike that should need no introduction. This is the Kawasaki KX500 Monster Energy Hulkster. This is a uh, full frame-up restoration on this one. Oh, excuse me. Uh, this is not a full frame-up restoration. It's a very low-hour original that was given the best components money can buy. Wheels, suspension, all the graphics, the seat, the bars. This is done up like a factory bike would be done. You want the frame with the, with the original frame paint on it. It's got under 20 hours. Things like brand new. That's a really rare piece. Here we've got a classic Kawasaki W650 set up with a Cafe Racer graphics on the tank and a quarter uh, Cafe fairing on it in a beautiful, uh, I think it's called um, Candy Apple Red because it has like a nice uh, metallic underflake and gold tones. It's got the gold pinstriping, custom graphics, just a beautiful piece. This one's uh, in uh, fantastic condition. Fellas, check this out. This is the bike that uh, most pro riders got their start on, the Honda XR80. Most of them got ridden into the ground. Somehow this one uh, was in a, in a family that didn't ride it much. It's a uh, original Survivor that's just been given a full refresh with new tires, new chain, new seat cover. Um, it's been detailed and, and tuned to perfection. That's a kick-ass classic. Another Honda here, this one's in SL70. Super rare SL70. This is from the Mac collection, right? This is this is for, out of uh, Pennsylvania. This is a um, original paint, original seat cover, classic four-stroke Honda Enduro that runs really awesome. It's got brand new tires on it and uh, has the original tail light and everything and headlight ready for another 40 years of fun. Guys, here's one that caught my heart when it came in. It was in a, it's an original Honda Super Sport 160 with no miles on it, guys. This thing has uh, 380 miles on it, but it had been sitting in someone's garage for 50 years. So we had to completely dismantle the whole engine and rebuild it. We worked on this for like three years to get it where it is now. Brand new seat cover. Everything was done on it. It runs like brand new. 387 miles. Good luck finding a lower mileage classic. That's a cool piece. Here, here's a bike that should, need, again, need no introduction. This is the bike that most... Um, most all good racers have uh, 100 to 1,000 hours ride time on these. These are fantastic. All the pro riders use these as pit bikes and um, practice bikes for riding here, riding uh, flat track. One of the best trail bikes ever made, the Honda XR100. Ripper. Now we got the Ripper, the two-stroke Ripper. You gotta click. Hey, even if you're not going to buy this bike, click on the link for the video. You would not believe how fast this thing is, even with my big 220-pound butt on it. Uh, it's absolute power to race. 
weight ratio, unlike anything else, it's, it's an absolute screamer, the Honda CR80. This is from the Mike Bressler collection. This is super rare, four tracks, 125, 1986. Most of these were ridden into, gra into the ground by overzealous kids. This thing's an absolutely pristine original condition. Good luck finding a nicer one. These are an absolute hoot to ride in the snow. In fact, on the demo video, check it out, because that's exactly what I did. Here's a classic CB350 Honda massage to perfection by the Manic Mechanic. This thing's a little ripper, set up in the traditional Brat Cafe bobber style. It has a custom headlight, custom saddle, super bike bars, bar end mirrors, a little uh, um, chop on the rear fender, and a modern, uh, modern style rear tail light with a set of dual exhausts. Really cool piece. Um, Ain't too many of them left. Now, th th guys, th this is the nicest Honda CB350 we've ever had through the museum. This is 100% original. Cool story. It was a his and hers bike. This is this one here has uh, 5,000 miles on it. This was her bike. He, uh, there's a twin to this one that'll be coming out next week. This is the nicer of the two. The twin has a couple dings in the tank and has 10,000 miles. This thing's the nicest CB350 I've ever seen. Absolute dime piece. Don't miss out on that one, guys. Oh, another Bressler Collection special. This is the XR350R. This is an absolutely stunning original bike. The only items that aren't original on this bike are the tires and chain. And in fact, Mike has the original tires if you want them. Has no miles on it. An absolute time capsule survivor. Good luck finding a nicer one than that. There are none. Here's a, here's a classic Honda SL350 High Pipe Enduro. This is a uh, five-speed twin-cylinder 350 High Pipe Scrambler. Just an absolute hoot to ride. New tires on it, new chain, new paint job, new seat cover, ready to rumble. This classic 1967 SS50. This thing's got a big bore 70cc motor on it. It's geared, I, I bet you this thing will do 70 miles an hour downhill. I, in the video, I took it downhill. It was absolutely flying. New tires, new seat cover. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's well sorted out and ready for a lot of fun. Take it for a rip. This one's ready for the beach. Or, or the off-road, or the Baja. This is another Honda SL350. This is from the Mack Collection out of Pennsylvania. Has the twin high pipes on it, gold chain. Uh, it's been repainted in-house, tuned up, and ready to go. Low miles on this thing. Only uh, 24,000 miles. He's ready for summer fun. Guys, this is a bike that I really have to uh, tell you to watch the video on. This is an NOS restoration by NOS I mean the parts on this are brand new it was owned by a Honda dealer somehow he had the for, he had the uh, um, foresight to order a brand new gas tank for this bike this is an NOS Honda if you look inside the, the gas tank it's called a wrinkle tank and uh, it is um, an original Honda component the tank alone on this thing is priceless the, the uh, only items on this bike that are not original Honda are the, are, is the exhaust system. The rest of it's all NOS Honda, and it's a dime piece. Nicest one I've ever seen. This is the next bike coming up here. This is a 100% original Honda CB750KO. This bike has the uh, original factory HM300 exhaust in mint condition. Just an absolutely beautiful piece. These are pretty much become unobtainium. Original paint, original everything on this thing. The bid's only at 12.5 on this one. Don't let it slip by, guys. You're not going to find a nicer one. The Sandcaster bringing 30G plus for a pile of parts. Good luck finding a nicer one of these for 12.5. They don't exist. This next bike here should need no introduction. This is none other than the V65 Magna, the fastest production, the fastest V65 Sabre, I'm sorry, the fastest production motorcycle made in, uh, in 1983 and 84. Now, Pee Wee, Pee -wee Gleason, the pro ro uh, road uh, um, drag racer, took the, they rated these for 11 seconds in a quarter mile, 11.2 seconds. He was a pro rider. He took it out. Cycle World clocked him at, un at under 11 seconds, a 10-second quarter mile on the factory production. That's the Mad Max, the Mac Daddy, the V4, the 120-horsepower Ripper. Now, guys, hey, where else are you going to find a brand-new Nighthawk 650? This came from a private collector in Long Island. This thing is absolutely stunning. Only 168 original miles on it. It's 100% original. The only thing that's not original in this thing is the battery. Probably the nicest Nighthawk on the planet today. It is absolutely pristine uh, beyond museum quality. It's basically brand new. So, guys, th these bikes represent the last three months of work since our last auction in November. We've accumulated over 150 motorcycles for this month's auction. And we're going to do these every two months. If you have a bike you want to put in the auction, please give us a call, 860-454-7024. Now, we should have rolled this one after the Sabre. That was what we should have done. So, um, 
But in any event, this is the same exact engine as the Sabre. This is the same high 10 second quarter mile Pee Wee Gleason Ripper. The one that, this is the more the uh, cruiser version. The Sabre had a more sport style. This is a uh, feet forward cruiser that's got 120 horsepower. Look at the rims on that thing, just stunning. Here's another kick ass piece. This is the V4 Magna that Junior did, uh, did the video riding this thing, and he's ridden a lot of fast bikes. He, he was. Absolutely thrilled with yeah, this. This and thing just runs so crisp. Jeff has it just perfect. It runs amazing. And the sounds that come out of that Kirker exhaust are just out of this world. Original factory uh, candy apple paint job. Original factory seat. Stunning, stunning piece for for short money. The reserve on that's under three thousand. You'll never find another nicer one. Guys, this thing is absolutely badass. Jeff Castine, the man of mechanic, completely rebuilt the motor on it. It's got a Del Cabot exhaust. It's 100% stock original, right down to the blinkers, the paint, and the seat. It is a true survivor, low mileage Honda CB754, showing only 35,000 original miles on the odometer. The chrome's in good condition. It's all original. The 69s and 70s are getting out of reach. Buy this one while you can. It's been tuned to perfection. Listen to the video. You won't believe how cool the thing sounds. Guys, this is a brand new Yamaha YZ80. This thing has got two rides on it. The guy who bought it, his kids rode it, got scared. And uh, this is an absolute ripper. We bought it in the shop, refreshed it with some brand, look, zoom in on the tires. Uh, take a look at the, the plastics and the graphics and everything. It's a brand new YZ80. Okay. You'll never find a nicer one anywhere. Now here's a bike that dominated the street racing scene in Maryland in the 80s and 90s. This is a GS1150E with a GS1100 block in heads that have been that has a big bore 1340cc uh, racing engine. 1340cc, 200 horsepower. This is a high nine second, maybe last quarter mile bike. Set up for street now. It's got street legal tires on it and it is absolutely ready to terrorize the street racing scene wherever you go. This is still, um, this is a Hayabusa uh, eater. This thing's an absolute, it's got performance machine rims on it. Uh, the engine's built to the nines, the engine's powder coated metallic, just stunning. Here we have Uncle Dale's DT400. This is uh, one of four DTs that we restored last year. This is going to sell them at reserve. Yeah, so. yeah, of course. And this is the absolutely mintest one we've had. It's got the PV electronic ignition, ignition, new crank seals. The whole top end's been rebuilt. The engine's completely rebuilt. Every seal, every seal, every bearing, everything's new on the motor. Gas, nitrogen, shocks, brand new tires. But it's an original paint survivor, guys. So uh, just an awesome core bike with a lot of NOS new parts on it. And bring, bring it right down, she's a right. ripper. Here we have another bike from the Jay Crandall collection. Again, Jay, 17-time national champion. Uh, we bought his entire collection of race bikes. He's getting up there in years and retiring. So um, this bike is set up to race right out of the box right here. Brand new tires on it, new chain. It's got a kick-ass paint job on it. Nice new seat cover, bars, grips, cables. Everything's done on this, guys. Full video on this one. She's ready to take to the line at the AHRMA National Championships. Buy it. Meet us in Daytona and ra race the vintage race with Junior. Well, let's check out this classic, the Hodaka. This is a Super Rat 125. This thing's an absolute screamer. Three gear wheelies, probably putting down in the 20 plus horsepower range. Super light, super fast, handles like a dream in it. It looks the part, man. Orange and blue paint job. Another bike from the J. Crandall AHRMA Champion Collection. This is a kick ass piece, ready for a new lease on life. Hodaka fenders, new chain, ready to rumble. Now here's something, something that I get excited about. This is right in my wheelhouse. These are the 500cc big bore motocrossers. This is a completely restored Tom Morgan racing engine, built, rebuilt from the frame up, customized Resto Mod 500, ready to set another world record uh, at the Baja or uh, take her down, gear it to 120 miles an hour, the right gear, and awesome bike. Next up, we've got a 1989 CR500. This is the same bike that Junior uh, has been racing uh, last year and beating the new bikes on. Neville Bradshaw has been winning overseas on these. Look at this thing. This thing is completely tricked. White power 4054 front forks, brand new XL rims, Hoosier tires, motors completely rebuilt from the crank up, custom graphics, mint frame. This is as good as it gets, guys. This is an absolute dime piece. Next up is a 97 CR500. This is straight out of the R Ride Florida MXA TV rental, Mark's private steed. He built this for Day in the Dirt last year. They canceled the event. I never got rent. It's a complete 
crank up, everything's rebuilt, every nut and bolt OEM Honda was some really amazing factory, after, uh, HRC factory uh, trick stuff on this. So that's the nicest one you're ever gonna see, folks. Next up, we have a service Honda, AJ Wagner, the godfather, the guru, the uh, patron saint of big board motocross. This is right out of his shop. This is a, the best of the three. We have a 2005, 2006, 2007. This is the 25, the older of the three, has the, the most factory parts on it. That's an unobtainium piece. It's like a factory works bike. You'll never find a nicer one. This is a 2006, absolutely stunning AJ Wagner. Uh, service Honda, built500.com. Check them out online. Nothing better. It's like having a works factory bike, and this thing's absolutely gorgeous. This is next level stuff, folks. We started out on the third floor of the museum. We did all the bikes up there. Now we're down on the first floor. We've got an XR75 project bike, a PW50, two other XR75s. We've got a really super cool Triumph Cub, a PW50. Uh, we've got another XR75 roller, a Yamaha XS650. Uh, the V65 Sabre, the fat, world's fastest production motorcycle, 1984. Bless you, Junior. We've got a BSA, A65T. We've got a Triumph TR6R, the same bike that Evil Knievel jumped the Grand Canyon with. We've got a KZ1000, same year as the Eddie Lawson replica. J Sport. J Sport, highly collectible. BSA Firebird. We've got a Honda CB350F, an MX175 roller, a CB550, and another BSA. This is an A50R Royal Star, highly collectible. And we've got a gorgeous 74 black CB350F gold. An XR200 roller, a green CB850, and this is a cool piece. You'll never see another one of these. Honda Gyro S. I've never seen one. I guess they're pretty rare. They only made them one or two years. A CX500, a CB350, and then we've got the Mac Daddy of all quads, the 500cc big bore two-stroke ripper right in front of the Christmas tree right here. Buy yourself, a, uh, if you didn't get what you wanted for Christmas, buy yourself this quad racer. And we've got, this, is this a German tank? No, it's not. This is a snow kit for uh, a Kawasaki KZ1000 or a Kawasaki Triple or a four cylinder. Okay. We, also, we also have a 754 Honda Super Sport, thoroughly massaged by the, me the manic mechanic, Jeff Castine, all original, except for the Del Kevic exhaust on it and the jetting, new tires, new chain. This thing's an absolute, this thing's a pimp daddy. This thing's beautiful, 77, gorgeous. Thanks, um, then we've got a uh, Mad Max Gold Wing, another Gold Wing, a CB450, a VF700, an 81 CB900 Custom. We got a gorgeous 86 Gold Wing, a couple of Honda uh, mini bikes, uh, scooters, a VF500, a VF500. This is kind of cool. This is a snow runner. It's a 1981 Chrysler snow runner, a uh, little snow machine. We've got another Suzuki, uh, a Honda Nighthawk 650. All these, there are videos in every one of these. And then it's ATC. Check this thing out. This thing was very low hours. It's been parked for like 30 years. So it needs a little bit of love. It's an 1885, all original. We've got a Ninja CX 750. We've got a KZ 750, a kick ass little Yamaha 175. We've got a, uh, an NX 125, an XJ 700. We've got a KZ 400. Three Honda scooters, uh, 49C. Two of them are mopeds. Actually, all three of them are mo mopeds. The little Honda, the original Beach Boy Cruiser. VF Interceptor, a KDX 80. We've got a GPZ 550. We've got a ZX900 Ninja and a Yamaha Virago. And then we go to the back row here. Guys, we got a couple of the GS850, highly collectible, very desirable GS850 GZ, the good parts bikes. We've got a GS650. We have a Yamaha Virago on the right and a VF700 Sabre on the left. We've got a Kawasaki KZ1100 and an XS. This bike has 2,000 miles on it, folks. It was obviously sitting for a long time and someone took the tank off. I mean, it's basically a brand new KZ 1100, 2,000 miles. There's a couple miles. low mileage dimes that are only going for a couple hundred dollars right now, no reserve. Yeah, yeah every, every bike down here is met reserve. It's just ridiculous how cheap some of these bikes are selling. There's a Honda uh, V-Twin V600, got another KZ 1100, another Sabre uh, V65, and then a DR350, uh, which is a highly, highly desirable piece, just needs a motor. Then we've got an ATC 250 with a brand new motor. Absolutely, everything on the motor is brand new. Crank, piston, bore, it's all powder coated. Thousands of dollars of work has been done to this already. Then we've got another bike, in a, uh, two bikes in a box. I got an OSA 250 with the motor, the rims, two sets of uh, gas tank fenders. Uh, the gas tank and fenders have been painted. There's a $400 custom paint job on that. Um, we're not gonna finish that project, so we're selling it as a bike in a box. Then we've got the little uh, Honda um, electric bike. 
We've got a, a, a Baja 70 scooter, a KZ 400, an RT 100. These are highly collectible. Uh, these are the um, 67 S 90s. Well, three of these in, in really nice shape that, uh, at auction. They bought one of them, what was it, 39.50, and the other were 37.50. This is this was a, a really cool piece. It's got a Yoshimura uh, racing pipe on it. It's a CB 400 Super Sport. Very nice. We got a C SL350, a CT70, a Honda CM400, a couple of uh, big bore V4 Hondas. This one here is a um, V45 and a V65. I think we've got like six of these V65 Magnus. Then a sweet Goldwing, just looking for a home. Let's go to the front row up here. See what we got over here. Here we've got a, a, a CZ125 roller. We got a Yamaha Virago 535, a Suzuki GV700. Uh, um, guys, this represents like three months worth of work. Uh, I drove 7,000 miles in, over a six week period uh, buying bikes. And uh, that's where all these bikes came from, man. So uh, James probably drove 27,000 miles. We've got a, a V65 Magna. We've got a, another V65 Magna. We've got a CX650. This is a really cool piece. It's a, it's a Heritage Special 400. We've got a Kawasaki Voyager, a KZ, another KZ1100. We have three KZ1100s in the auction, guys. A VT1100 Shadow. This is a really cool Yamaha Seika 600 and another CX650, so two CX650s. So that pretty much wraps it up for this floor. CB50R. Oh, did, how, how could I forget? We've got a brand new in the box, probably the last one on the planet. This is a Honda CB50R4. We've got a full video on this one. The shipping label on it is to the dealer that we purchased it from. He was retiring, closed his dealership, sold the franchise, and it's got the shipping label when he got it in 2004. He never took it out of the box. We did take the cover off. Check the video on that one.